Hello, my name is Bren Antrim, and today I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to find information when you're searching for literary criticism about a fairy tale at the Santa Monica College Library. In order to get to the library homepage from the college homepage, mouse over Student Support and click on Library. Once there, I want to point out a couple of things. One, if you have questions at any time, you can ask a librarian. This is chat 24-7. If the library is open, you'll talk to an SMC librarian. If we are not open, you will talk to a college or university librarian from the consortium to which we belong. If they are unable to answer your question, they will leave a ticket, and the next time we are open, we will send you an email and follow-up to make sure that you got the information you needed. A lot of times, students, when they come to this page, will immediately go to OneSearch, but I'm going to show you a slightly different way to do it today. If I were doing this as a student and I was looking at the concept of women and using Sleeping Beauty as an example, I would go into Databases and the first thing I would do is go by topic. This is all 116 databases that we have alphabetical by title with a short description of what's in them. But I know this is for my English class. So I'm going to scroll down to English and that takes it from 116 databases to 24. These 24 databases include topic-specific databases for literature and English, and also more general databases that will include information on English topics. So the first one that I'm going to try is Literature Resource Center published by Gale. And this is literary analysis from a diversity of scholars, including primary works, biographical information, literary criticism, and reviews. So if I go into that database, if you are not logged in and you are using your own device or you're off campus, at this point you would have to log in the same way you would to your SMC email. So from here, I would type in Sleeping Beauty. But because Sleeping Beauty is very, very common, as you can see it's coming up, fictional character, novel, motion picture, ballet, I want to add in parentheses, fairy tale. I don't want to use anything the database is giving me because my topic is a little different than that. So when I search that, it will give me 114 pieces of literary criticism, biographies, topic and work overviews, reviews and news, and primary sources and literary works. And when I scroll through them, some of them may show up right away as, oh, Briar Rose is the name of the person who was the Sleeping Beauty, so this might be a reinterpretation. But I also might want to um, be a little bit more specific. So over here I can filter my results to subjects and I can say of all of these things I specifically want fairy tales. And that takes me down to just those things that are specifically about fairy tales and include my search term of Sleeping Beauty. So when I go in there, I can find one that looks interesting. And when I click on that, it allows me some options. This tells me it is a critical essay. It gives me the essay itself that I can scroll through and read, along with other references that they used that I can then follow up on. It gives me an option to help with the citation. Make sure that you fix this before you put it in your paper if you use this resource. It gives me links to um, other articles that are similar to it or related. Up at the top, it allows me to cite it, email it, download it, print it, get a permanent link, take highlights and notes, and do the same thing right down here. I can save it to my cloud, I can email it directly, I can download it, or I can print it out. It also has some accessibility options if I need to change the font size or translate it to a different language or change the font color or listen to it. I can do all of those things. And then once I'm done with this, I can go back to my results and look for other articles. So this is one type of literature specific database where you can find information on your topic. Another way to go about this search is to look in a more general database that, um, for example, if my teacher has said you need to use scholarly journal articles, I can go down to JSTOR, which is only scholarly journal articles but on a variety of topics, which includes literature. 
I can click on JSTOR and I'm going to show you an, an advanced search with JSTOR because this is an international database with a lot of information. And don't be afraid of advanced searches. All that an advanced search does is it allows you to have more control over your input. And the more controlled your search, the better your results. So I'm going to look for Sleeping Beauty, specifically the fairy tale. I'm going to make sure that it's only stuff I can actually read. I'm going to look for the format article because I'm not looking for book reviews, etc. I want actual articles. I want them to be in English. This is an international database. And then I'm going to skip down and I'm going to look at the areas that it covers. And I'm going to say which of these areas are appropriate to my question. Not necessarily just my topic, but how I'm approaching my topic. So I might look at feminist and women's studies because I'm looking at women in fairy tales. I would look at folklore, because that's what fairy tales are. I might take a look at gender studies. I might also, as I'm going through here, take a look at language and literature. And then once I have the topics that I think could have something interesting on my question, I submit that search and I see what I get. And I get over 1,500 results, which is too many. So I'm going to go over here and, wow, they're all journals. There's no books in this one but I want to narrow it down to the topic again. So I show the various topics and I can redo this search looking at different topics in each iteration of the search. So maybe on this one, like feminist and women's studies, there are 47 articles that are about my topics, Sleeping Beauty and Fairy Tales. There are 290 in folklore. There are 14 in gender studies. So I can take a look at each of these topics individually. This is the ones, these are the ones on gender studies. I can go back and I can add feminist and women's studies and take off gender studies. So I can play with my topics and that allows me to take that mass of 1500 articles and bring it down to something usable. Once I find an article that I like, Unlike most databases, I can't read it by just clicking on the title because when I do that, it only gives me a page at a time. But what I can do from that link is I can download it, I can save it, I can cite it. So I can either read it through the computer, I can download it and read it later, I can also get a citation. Remember, fix it before you stick it in your paper. So when I do click on the title, here's some things that it allows me to do from there. Once again, I can cite, share, or save. It tells me some related articles that I can link to. Okay. And it allows me to read through the article. If I decide to share it, I can share it on social media, if you're feeling really fun. Um, or you can download it. Unfortunately, this database, because it's a nonprofit database, does not have a lot of bells and whistles. So you can't just do an automatic email. So you can download it to a file, or you can download it temporarily to the desktop if you're on a shared PC and email it to yourself as an attachment. You can also copy the stable URL, put that in an email, and come back to read it later. Um, if that happens and you go via this um, URL, you may have to log in as an SMC student. Sometimes that doesn't work. So if that doesn't work, you can go back through our database listings and go in via JSTOR because that authenticates you as a Santa Monica College student. If you have any questions as you're doing your research, remember to ask us anytime. Good luck with your research.